everybody, Hamesy here. I guess the reason why you're here is because you're interested in my uh, PD-170. Now, up front, I want to tell you, I'm, I'm not going to be uh, giving away or selling the microphone with the camera. This is an EC, ECM uh, NV1. They're available on eBay for around 21 bucks to 25 bucks, And I've had this one quite a while. I don't want to get rid of it because I still have a Z1U that I want to be able to utilize this, this microphone with. So I'm not selling it with the system. But like I said, they do have them on eBay and they're about $21 to $25. So let's start with the basics. The, the reason I made this video is because I want whoever buys this camera to know that the camera works and I want to make sure that I have all your questions answered. I have a 100% approval rating on eBay and there's a reason for that because uh, I like my customers happy, I really don't take returns, uh, and um, I want you to know what you're getting and, and what the product is. So first thing I'm going to tell you is you're bidding on this camera and this camera is a PD-170. Now on the bottom of this camera there's a serial number it's and you can see it there I think and the serial number is 1119381 so this is the camera that I will be sending to you now right now I have it hooked up and I have it running on AC I'm going to show you that it works on the AC charger which I am including also with the system so I'm going to flip it into VCR and you can see it came up and I'm going to put it into play and I've got a a little Ellen DeGeneres uh, promo that I shot a number of years ago and we'll just play a couple of seconds of that on here Ellen DeGeneres is telling everybody about her new comedy on CBS okay you can see that it plays and that's fine so I'm gonna stop it and now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, I'm going to switch it over to battery, I'm going to turn it off, and I'm going to switch it over to battery and we'll do the rest of the demo on here in, in battery mode. Now, I just want to let you know that I'm selling the system with one battery and two small batteries. I'm not going to pull any punches. These batteries are a little on the weak side. So this one may give you maybe 120 minutes, maybe two hours at the most. It rates out at about 281, but these things lie like crazy. And you can buy batteries online all day for these cameras. So I'm going to be giving you one of these batteries and four of these smaller batteries. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to take the battery. I'm going to put it on the back of the camera very easy snaps right on and what we're going to do is we're going to turn uh, we're going to close this up because we don't want any dirt or dust or anything to get in that hole and that's the charging port and what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this back into VCR so you can see that now we're running off of batteries power is up and I'm going to hit the play button So you can see that it plays fine. Now I'm going to stop the camera. I'm going to hit stop again. And I'm going to switch the camera from VCR mode to camera mode. Okay, that's stop. That's camera mode. Now you'll be able to see that the camera mode is up. I also want to show you that when I hit the level, can you see the uh, the level going, the audio levels? Okay, um, you can see that it's getting audio. So now what we're going to do is, I'm going to turn this around, and my wife is being very, very nice to help me. I am going to record just a couple of seconds of video of her, her shooting us. And uh, here it is with the um, audio meter on. And now I'm going to turn the audio meter off. And uh, 
I'm going to stop tape. Okay. And I'm going to review it by hitting, um, uh, by hitting stop. Okay, which it is. And I'm going to go back to stop on here. Like so. I'm going to go back to the VCR mode. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip the viewfinder around so that you guys will be able to watch uh, what, what I just recorded. So we'll go into play. Okay. And I'm going to hit rewind. And I'm going to put it into play. Okay, so you can see the basic oper operation of the camera is fine. Now, I'm also selling the camera with this Petro uh, um, lens shade, or not lens shade, but um, viewfinder shade. This comes in really, really handy when you have some shooting to do outside and it's really sunny. Now, here's what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to slide this off now because when you close this, uh, the viewfinder will automatically come on and I want you to be able to see that the, the viewfinder on this works. So I'm still in VCR mode. I'm going to hit the, the play on here and I'm going to run it back. And of course you know you're not going to be able to see real well inside the viewfinder. That's basically uh, the camera. I'm going to hit stop again. And uh, that's the camera. It's in really, really great shape. I'm selling the camera with this viewfinder. I'm selling it with this screw-on lens shape, um, the screw-on wide-angle adapter, which was made by Sony. It's a beautiful piece of glass. It's very, very heavy. It's a VCL HG0758. I don't know if you can see, but there's, there's no scratches on the front of it. It's very, very clean, very, very clear. And the back side of it is also very, very clean and very clear. I keep most of my equipment in very, very good condition. Uh, this comes in this little bag, this little pouch, which uh, I will also include. And then there is also a wide-angle... Um, lens shade and what this comes apart and you you put this over the lens first over the other uh, lens shade this comes off and uh, uh, it mounts inside and then this clicks over it and then you've got this lens cover so that you don't have dirt that gets in uh, also it comes with this remote control which will remotely zoom the camera. It'll play, stop, and it'll run all the functions on this camera that, uh, that you can do on the camera itself. I'm also including the original um, video and audio connectors uh, so you can plug it into your TV or uh, another videotape machine. I'm including four of these small batteries and like I showed you, I'm going to be including this, this battery also, which is, um, it may be good for 120 minutes, but I think, um, I think you should probably buy some new batteries if you plan on using it in the field. Um, the other thing is, is this um, lens shade, it has a built-in um, cover, so you really, really don't need a lens cover, but I do believe... This, no, this one is, it's too small, but it works fine on, on here. But uh, you've got this, which will protect, which, which will protect your lens. It comes with all the books that originally came with the camera. And I probably didn't mention this before, 
but this camera does shoot in both regular DV cam and uh, uh, or regular DV and DV cam which is the higher speed and the better quality it puts a better quality image on the tape uh, the last thing last but not least I still have the original box and everything will be packaged up in the original plastic and in the box and you'll get everything just the way I received it with three more batteries uh, and the bigger battery and that's basically it if you have any questions feel free to write me before you bid happy bidding we hope to deal with you soon bye bye A lot of people will say, always keep a tape in your camera and always have a, a, a battery on your camera and a tape. I don't go with that. Um, it's okay to have a battery on your camera or to keep it close, but um, you shouldn't store the camera with a tape in it because what happens over time and when the camera moves around and stuff, the tape becomes loose sometimes in the cartridge and um, it could false the camera out. So I also wanted to show you how to load this camera. What you do is you you push the eject button and then the, this door opens up. I'll show you one more time here just for the heck of it. Okay, you push the eject button then the, the other um, door will open up you take your tape and you put your tape in okay push it down don't push it in too tight close this wait until you hear it starting to thread okay then take the door and push it closed using this little button right here don't use this part of the door use this button the reason being is this has a clasp on it and it will save you a lot of headaches if you if you load and unload your camera properly it's very very important that you load and unload your camera properly if you don't you'll have problems in the future the door will bend or um, you'll create you'll be create problems with the internal mechanisms so always 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 right there take that and push it and it'll lock